Alrighty, I did a little uh, research to try to find out what battery is best for laser pointers. To my surprise, I didn't find much. <sighs> Go figure. Anyway, I got these overpriced, really expensive lithium batteries. Everyone sees these, they're extremely light, don't feel like they're much there. Overpriced, they claim to last eight times longer. Hmm, whatever. They also supposedly have a more steady output voltage. And we got your traditional alkylines. Same brand, so I'm trying to keep the uh, keep the whole, it's a different brand, it's got different specs out of the whole equation, so I just bought both the same brand. This is their regular Alkaline Max and Lithium. And this is a laser pointer, a laser pointer I bought off of Amazon, it's supposedly a 0.5 milliwatt, or not 0.5, but 5 milliwatt, and we'll see how this turns out. And if you're wondering about the prices, there they be. Six ninety nine for two for the two uh, lithiums and two ninety nine for the alkaline. And those were on sale. Okay, wait a little while. It's nice and dark outside, so now we can do a little comparison with these uh, batteries here to determine which is truly better for your laser pointer. Alrighty, let's load this thing up. I'll go with the uh, the regular alkaline first as a uh, base point. Alrighty, we are loaded up. Let's turn off the lights. Still see a little glow in here, it's from my monitor. Let's give this a shot. You can see the beam. It's not bad for a five little mil milliwatt laser pointer. I'm just trying to the kitchen there. You can kind of see it. It's alright. Now let's load up the uh, the lithium batteries. Now there, we're putting in the lithium. Personally, these things are expensive. They claim to eight, last eight times longer. If that's the case, then they're worth their money. But with something like a laser point, you can't really just test. All right, got our lithium cells installed. Exact same lighting conditions. Slightly more visible. You, you could barely tell, but it's... I don't know. It's expensive batteries. But this is with, uh, you know, with there actually being a little bit of light in the room. If it's completely dark, this is surely more vivid. But for, you know, a five, little 5 milliwatt laser pointer, this isn't bad. And if you want batteries that's going to last you a while, that's definitely the way to go. There's more though. Let's try this. Let's try, uh, try putting these uh, batteries in a high powered LED flashlight. So what happens? I've got one right here. Crack it open here. I've got a uh, pretty much half dead Panasonic. It's still got plenty of life, but use uh, these brand new batteries here as a comparison. Oh, I'm just stuck it in there backwards. Used to the laser pointer. Alrighty. Now, even though this is a little teeny tiny flashlight, this thing's actually got a pretty bright beam to it. So it's like a hundred lumen beam. So, as you can see, it's pretty dang bright for this little teeny tiny flashlight. It's a regular alkaline battery. You can see all my mess. Of course, you see the entire room. It's quite bright. I'm shining it completely opposite side of the room and it's lighting up that side, so yeah. Now, let's try one of these uh, lithium cells in the exact same flashlight. I'm assuming that there won't be a difference, at least a noticeable difference, same with the laser. If there's a difference, it's, yeah, not noticeable by the human eye at least. Alrighty, you got our lithium cell loaded up. Let's see what it does. I suspect it, it's about the same. Can't really tell the difference. Okay, so as I was able to notice, there wasn't really much of a uh, performance boost, so I don't have a proper load tester, at least not conveniently handy. I could probably make one with a little bit of experimenting. 
But uh, let's see if there's actually a voltage difference in these things. I got my uh, little cheapo digital multimeter out here. Sorry. Can't exactly afford a really nice one. Yet I can afford these $8 batteries. Hmm, <laughs> weird. Anyway, lithium cell, we're getting 1.73 volts. With the standard alkaline cell, we're getting... Hmm, there is a difference. 1.57, so there's actually about almost a 2 volt difference there. That's a pretty big difference when you're messing around with voltages that's only, say, 1.5 volts. So, if your product needs just a little more kick or oomph to it than uh, a regular AA can provide, then by all means, lithium or look like they would give you the little voltage boost that you could need. Uh, as for milliamp hours, I don't quite know what the uh, milliamp hours are on any of these things. That's one thing that's always bugged me about double A batteries, or, you know, these standard format batteries, is they don't really have specs on them like that. Got the year. It's good until third month of 2026, so, wow. 1.5 volts. L92-FR03, not sure what that means. I'm assuming that's like patent or uh, part number or something like that. But yeah, there's no actual uh, milliamp hours listed on either one of these batteries, so unfortunately I can't give you that information. I'm pretty sure if you go to uh, like the manufacturer tech site or something, they might have a more detailed sheet. But uh, as for just having the batteries, I don't have them on here. Anyway, uh, my, in the, uh, my final verdict here is if you want more lifetime, if you want to stick batteries in something like a, a clock and not have to mess with them for 10, 20 years, <laughs> It's probably a good idea to get these. And if you got one of these clocks that's way up high, high up on the wall, and you don't want to have to mess with it often, get some lithium cells. Throw these in it. You want to touch it for the longest time. But as for like normal high drain devices that you know that you're only going to be draining for a small period of time, and then you won't be needing it again for a while, then Oculine. They're cheap. If they go bad, oh well, just toss them, and get new ones. It just really depends on your application. Anyway, that's uh, that's my review with the uh, difference between the Oculine and and uh, lithium cells. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned. If you're interested in more things like this, I, I can post them and check out my channel. I might have a few more things along these lines, including lightsabers. I also got some video game related material, and even the occasional oddball blacksmithing or smelting. It's actually something I might get into. Anyway, enough uh, running on here. I'll let you guys go. Later.